Hello viewers, uh, 2017 April, I went to Japan once again, uh, it was a good holiday. Just wanted to talk about uh, tools I purchased uh, this time around. I'm going to be showing you what I bought in Osaka. Uh, there's a great tool store there. I've mentioned it in the past in one of my previous videos. I'll probably uh, provide a link somewhere on the screen here. Uh, the tool store is called Otani. Otani Shoten or o Otani Tool Store, um, featured on Garage Journal as well. I did a thread on that. So if you want to uh, figure out how to get there, uh, please do follow the link which I'll provide. Um, so Tonichi Torque Wrench, uh, probably the most famous torque wrench manufacturer in Japan. Definitely the largest market share, I'm sure. When you think of Japanese torque wrench, think of Tonichi. So this is a QL, QL15NMH. Uh, I just went to the store without really expecting him, him to carry it, but uh, sure enough he had it in stock. It's a quarter inch drive from, I believe this was from 2 to 15 newton meters was the range. QL15 and MH uh, that was 3 to 15 newton meters is the range. I have seen and used these before at work. I have some co workers who have them. Um, I like in particular the very slim profile of this quarter inch drive. I wish I had a comparison to show you but I don't just take my word for it this is really low profile look at the drive in right there the anvil they actually have their company emblem machined or stamped right there thought it was pretty cool attention to detail uh, obviously for tightening only that's why that mark is there. Nice knurling. Graduated scales, 0.1 increments. So, to make your adjustments, you unlock, rotate, tighten it back up, and you're ready to go. Certificate of calibration. Uh, I'm not going to mention anything in detail here. You can pause the video as you wish. Some product information. Uh, if you want to contact them, feel free to pause that. Uh, pretty good English. Pretty standard stuff that you would see from other torque wrench manufacturers. Japanese and English. So that's the torque wrench. Decent price from the store. Uh, happens to be 13,750 yen. Pretty good price. I compared it with uh, Amazon.co.jp and it was only about uh, less than a thousand yen more expensive from this place. Not a big deal. And the second item here is I love these um, wear a hold function. These are called hold function. Well it's a feature. Um, the end of that Torx profile is tapered so that it actually um, fits snugly against your torque fastener. I wish I had a torque screwdriver, a T15, to shoot to illustrate that, but take my word for it, I have the T15, sorry, the T20, 25 and 30 that I use at work and it really works like a charm. It really holds that torque fastener really well. 
get those two items out of the way. So those are my tool purchases from this store, but I also got these t-shirts. Style of a t-shirt. And I got this, uh, I'm going to call it vintage, but uh, probably, I think he said it was from the 90s, before Snap-on bought um, the Soundvik company. So whenever that date was, I believe it was in the 90s. So I thought it was a cool, pretty cool t-shirt. Uh, their famous Ergo, Ergo series. The back of the t-shirt also has their large ergo sign. And last but not least, a uh, snap-on t-shirt with their uh, date, man date codes. He said this was uh, 1985 when this t-shirt came out. And they had up to 94 figured out to be continued like my videos to be continued. Thanks guys.